Hi guys, welcome back to Woodward Sun Custom. In case you can't tell, by our Nerd Out box, today we have the February 2023 edition of the Blue Creek Knives Nerd Knife Club. No, cut that a little bit. The Blue Creek Knives Knife Nerd Club. And uh, so, I'm not gonna waste a lot of time because so far I've been really happy with the subscription and I'm really, really anxious to get into this and to see what we got. Um, so far they've been a great uh, surprise and I like it when a little, a little company starts putting out great product and great service and all that. All right, so what we got here? All right, so first we have a note on top and it says, first I'd like to apologize and own the delayed shipment of the Knife Nerd Club box this month. We ran into some, uh, into some supply chain issues that were tough to overcome. Uh, and then it says the knife. This month's knife is the CRKT Pillar. It is a 2.63 inch satin finish, 8 CR14 MOV stainless blade with a satin finish stainless handle. The designer is Jesper Voxnase. I chose the sleek and minimalist pillar for its compact design and dual opening mechanisms. And then, oh, we get another one. It says the flashlight, the Maglite Solitaire LED, is a compact light to pair with the key. Uh, well, excuse, with the key, uh, with the knife for a total carry weight of 4.9 ounces. It packs 47 lumens in a small package with a peak beam distance of 47 meters. The max runtime is one hour and 45 minutes on high. And then it says the swag. Thank you as always to Drew and Brent for help on sticker art this month as Blue Creek Knives continues to grow. I truly appreciate your support and understanding as we work through some growing pains. Respectfully, Brian Fleck, owner and founder of Blue Creek Knives. Now see, this is something that you remember for a brief period of time, I was a member of the Poor Man's Preparing Budget Blade Knife Club and I actually liked 99% of the knives that came through there and whenever he delivered on what he was supposed to it was some pretty good stuff but he kept making he couldn't make it go and he kept making excuses and I'm not trying to beat the guy up I don't have any ill will toward the guy but this that I'm, I'm just saying that to say that uh, uh, Mr. Fleck here Brian I appreciate the fact that you just said hey look I had some problems. I did what I could. I worked them out. I'm sorry. That goes a long way for me. I, you know, I understand you're going to have problems with getting stuff out on time from time to time. Um, it's what you do once you have those problems that separates a good company from a bad company, as far as I'm concerned. And it's just one more thing that makes me uh, glad that uh, I'm a member and that I found the uh, Knife Nerd Club. And uh, anyway, I'm going to check out this swag. So we got a couple of Jolly Ranchers. You know, nothing says knives like hard candy. We have, we have, oh, I got two of these. It's a Knife Nerds Unite Owl sticker. We've got a uh, Knife Nerds, Knife Nerd Club, a Blue Creek knives well, actually we've got a few of these blue creek knives stickers there's like three or four of those and stay prepared don't get prepared i like that you know brian i do i, I really like that so there you go this time around it doesn't look like we have any obscure 1990s uh Baseball cards or anything like that, which is a shame. I kind of, I kind of dug that, but then again, I also was like, where the heck is he finding this stuff? You know, thirty years later. All right, so I guess we'll go to the 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 um, flashlight next. And so here we go. Nice little hard case. See if I'm smart enough to figure out how to open this because it's not readily apparent how. There we go. Ah, that's what the problem is. Sticker on the side. All right. Huh. Well, isn't that just a cute little guy? 
there you go and this looks like to be some sort of like a kind of like a metallic lavenderish purple I don't know I get the battery put in this thing even comes with a little lanyard. And I gotta say, I, I this is actually a pretty nice little presentation for such a small flashlight. You don't normally get this. You normally get like a little plastic clamshell, disposable kind of package and everything. This is kind of kind of nifty. I'm not sure how much need I have for yet another little bitty flashlight th like this. But you know, if you need a flashlight, you need a flashlight. And actually, for the size, it's uh, kind of hard to tell with this amount of light but uh, it actually works pretty well all right so I guess that brings us to what we're supposed to be nerding out about and that is the knife and with uh, CRKT one of the nice things about that this particular brand is they uh, they have a plethora of price points and materials and styles uh, I mean they've been around for a while so you can get a lot of different things from them. And so this is the pillar. Very minimalist design as far as the uh, scales go. Just very, very sleek, very well done. Um, you get your backspacer there. It's It has started out centered. And we've got a flipper and then you also have a thumb hole right there. So we're going to try the... Ooh, that actually, that's pretty snappy. And then, as you can see, it has a frame lock. And it is kind of beefy. And we'll try this a few more times. See if it continues the center. But uh, it has a very nice action on it. There was no mention as to what kind of action, so I would have to look that up to tell you. But, uh, yeah. Okay, left-handed, it's not quite as easy for me. But then again, I'm right-handed, and I'm used to using my right hand to do this. So, and that's kind of like the uh, the thumb hole there. I can do it slowly, but I don't normally use that sort of thing. Um, maybe a little thumb stud. I'll use those from time to time, but for the most part, I prefer flippers. Um, but uh, let's see if it let's see if it falls shut. It does with a little coaxing. It's uh, overall the fit and finish is really nice and looks like you can adjust it for all right so it's um, oriented for tip down it looks like you can, all, you can also adjust it for tip up and it looks like you can uh, just take this off and the pocket clip here and you can adjust it by just putting it up in there as far as markings go you have a small and tastefully done CRKT there and then you have pillar, um, the design, and then um, that's pretty much it. I mean, there's like almost nothing there as far as markings. Very inobtrusive, not tacky at all. There's nothing worse than when you have like a billboard on whatever it is you're using. It's one thing to, you know, have a logo on there. That makes sense to me. But to have an entire billboard and have it just covered up all over the place doesn't, I don't know. Usually it's not very aesthetically pleasing, but this has a uh, this knife has a very nice action on it, and we're gonna see we're gonna use Mr. Flex letter here, and we're gonna see what kind of sharpness we have. Yeah. Ah, there we go. Not bad at all. Yeah, not bad at all. It's actually pretty sharp. So, um, it's got kind of a wicked little aesthetic there as far as the type of blade and um, the handle and everything. It flows very nicely, very clean and sleek. I like it. Um, I will say this much, not my first choice in steel, but considering it's $39.99 for the subscription and this go around, we got a knife and a bunch of swag and a mag light, albeit a tiny mag light, but still a mag light, still a great brand. So uh, for 40 bucks, I don't think you can go wrong. 
You guys let me know what you think. You can hit me up in the comments and let me know what you think of the knife. Let me know what you think of the flashlight, the combo. What you think of the uh, uh, Knife Nerd Club so far. Um, but I'll tell you, from my standpoint, I think I've gotten $40 worth of value each time. And so far, I'm happy. And I'm going to continue to uh, to get them as long as they continue to do a good job. I think uh, it's, it seems like, thus far at least, it seems like Mr. Fleck, the, uh, the owner, founder, what have you, is actually trying to do a put out a good service and um, give you quality stuff. And it seems like he's trying to go about it the right way. And it seems like the customer service is probably uh, pretty spot on, at least thus far. So let's hope that all continues. And if it does, he'll have a customer for life. If he doesn't, you know how it goes. Three strikes and you're out, usually. But, uh, yeah, this is not a knife that uh, was really on my radar as far as one that I was planning on getting. But uh, I'm not unhappy that I got it. And as you can see, I've opened it a few times, and it still centers nicely. Yeah, just a nice overall knife. So, anyway, Blue Creek Knives. Uh, this is the Knife Nerd Club, and by all means, check them out. They just added a Knife uh, Nerd Max. I think so like an upgrade uh, box as well so I may or may not check that out um, in the near future I'm may uh, upgrade I don't know but anyway until next time watch your six and carry on Wayward Son out <laughs>